Welcome to the Primitive Lifeways channel. In today's video series, I want to take you step by step in how to construct river cane hunting arrows. So stick around, I'll be right back with you. So folks, I want to welcome you back. Now when it comes to arrow construction, I like to make my arrows thin and lightweight depending on the bows that I'm shooting them out of. The bows that I shoot are in between the ranges of 40 to 55 pounds. That's where I'm comfortable at. And shooting either one of these arrows out of a 40 to 55 pound bow would absolutely be devastating to a medium to large size game animal. It would bring it down very fast. So this arrow right here is a copy of a Kawea style arrow or a Kawea arrow that I saw in a private collection. This has a cane shaft with an arrowweed foreshaft. It has an agate tip. It's serrated on the sides. Turkey fletchings, has the same paint pattern as the original one, and then an arrowweed inserted knock. This arrow is quite unique in itself. This isn't a copy of any specific tribe. This has a thin, lightweight cane main shaft with a removable red oak foreshaft. That fits in there nice and tight, nice and secure. Interesting paint pattern at the top, turkey tail fletchings, and I don't have any knock insert. I just filed right in the center of the cane. So this is the piece of cane we're using. This is river cane from North Carolina, and I have an arrowweed knock insert that I made off camera, and that's just glued in with hide glue. But what I want to do right now is I want to wrap this end with sinew because you can see that this cane has hollow spots throughout its structure. This is where my foreshaft is going to insert into. So I'll just take animal sinew. This is backstrap sinew and I'll wrap from the bottom all the way up, just in this hollow section, on this bottom hollow section. And it's important when you wrap, wrap it nice and tight. This will help bind everything together because sometimes backstrap sinew can get loose. Also with backstrap sinew, I like to wash it and rinse it with clean water because it is a little bit greasy. So I just continue to wrap around the shaft and I wrap this nice and tight. right until I get to the end here. All right, so as you can see, our shaft is now prepared. We have sinew wrapped at the end. That's where the foreshaft will slip into. And at this point, I let it dry for an entire day. The sinew has finished curing and drying, so it's now time to work on the foreshaft. This foreshaft will insert into the main shaft of this cane. So what I do is I take a nice thin sharp knife, create a rat tail in the back with a shoulder up top. This rat tail will have a gradual taper from the top to the bottom. Well, as you can see, our foreshaft is now complete. We have that little rat tail at the end with the shoulder up top. And this actually fits loose in the main shaft. And I did that on purpose because I need to glue it in. The reason I'm going to glue this in, supposed to just using this as a friction fit and having it removable is because I'm going to fire this arrow off once it's complete. And the bow that I'm firing this off with is very, very powerful. So this foreshaft will bury itself into my target. 
and I don't want that to happen because I'll just be able to shoot this once and that'll be it. So I have two stone points that I made a few months back. This is of agate and this one is of obsidian. They're nice and thin and they will absolutely take down a medium to large size game animal. But what I need to do before I glue that in with pitch glue, I need to cut a slot up at the top. And I think what I'll do is I'll use the obsidian. I'll hold on to the agate point. I just take my Swiss Army knife and I have this nice little file here. It's a metal and wood file. And I just cut in a groove up at the top where that point will mount. So the groove is already filed in. What I'm doing right now is I'm narrowing the profile and I'm roughing up the surface. And this will help the sinew bind around the foreshaft. You can see that fits in there. Really nice. So we'll just glue that in. I'll wrap it with sinew and I'll be right back with you.